I've known him since he was super little, so uh, him drinking is fucking amazing for me. It just seems all grown up. Because you were never, you never, through all the years from tour, you were never a drinker. You always, like, little kids smoke the weed. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's your shit now? You're, you're like, big Hennessy guy, or are you mm, Coronas, Coronas, and, and Fire Flame. What's that? What's that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a special drink that I've never heard of or something. <laughs> Crack open this little thing. What do you mean? Do you what even you drink? Got? You don't drink, do you? Coconut water? Is it a good oh, oh, bro. I think oh, so. Oh, the green on the top. You know what I just watched was your unreleased love child part. Oh, man. I, mean, I know it came out a while ago, but I watched it again last night and I realized, like, why did that not get in Love Child? Um, well, they didn't like my style. At the Are time. you serious? Yeah. Did you see that? I, I never like, I didn't bend my knees enough. So, dude. And I, and when when I saw it. that, like, I got the video on my package, right? Uh -huh. So I went to my friend's house, to, like, all my buddies, you know, young MB kids, uh -huh. and I popped it in. The videos are going and going and going toward the end. I'm like, oh, good. They put my stuff in, like, you know, toward the end. <laughs> yeah. Then the credits come, and I'm like, shit, well, well, it's a surprise part, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> then I get, you know, it's over, you know, the credits are over. I'm Holy like, shit. oh, wow. Who made so it? So you filmed? I think you, Rodney made the call. Made the call, right? Yeah. yeah. You were filming. I mean, I know it was different back then, but you knew you were kind of filming for a video or Definitely. filming for a video. Yeah, I mean, I was getting paid and then at 14 years old, a hundred bucks a month. That was big back then. Yeah. And then that was big. Then, <laughs> 100 bucks a month. So what do you do? you all your friends are sitting there. Like, do you just get embarrassed as shit? I think like, I went into your the friends bathroom you? probably cried or something. <laughs> <laughs> Not like no jokes. Like I was butt hurt, man. That, I believe that it really got to me, but you know what? It motivated me to make uh -huh. me become who I am today. Wow. And like look past it. How long were you even on World? I was on World for about two years. Wow. Yeah. And then stayed so at Rodney's house and everything. It was, it was such a good experience. Why do you think they left you out? I don't know. I mean, I think the style thing. They you didn't really like my think style. that? Yeah. Wow. That's crazy because you, like, as of now, like you have a very unique style, but like no one really looks like you. But everyone says it's amazing. Style, you know what I mean? Man, I don't know what they're talking about. That's weird. <laughs> you think maybe you grew into it, or maybe you're too little and your you style know what? Is you know what happened, man? Um, Keith Cochran from Think Skateboards told me to bend my knees. And it was like a diss at the time, but you know what? I owe it all to him. I yeah. was like, shit, I don't bend my knees when I skate. And I landed in a good home at the Kale Corp, thank yeah. God. So how did that How did that originally happen? Did you come over there for expedition or did you come over there expedition. With, with the idea of? No, definitely for okay. expedition. Okay. I saw an ad in the magazine. I was like, man, I'm about to have a kid. And I have no no money. I, yeah. You know, I got to make something happen. Yeah. So I got a job at a pizza place working 14 hours a freaking a day. Then I was looking through a magazine. I was like, oh, I like that brand. Like, So I called him up. And the rest is history. And then, so how long were you on expedition before you guys started that organic office? About uh, two and a half years. And were you plotting on this? That Definitely not. No. That was all Troy's idea. Really? Yeah, I got an offer from World again. <laughs> they circled back around. <laughs> oh, they, they like Flame Boy World? <laughs> yeah, exactly. They offered me three times more than what I was getting, right? 300? No, no. It was, <laughs> it was, I was getting something. This is your old world seller. <laughs> <laughs> so they offered me three times more than a car payment for a BMW. And I turned it down. I showed Troy the contract, and he's like, you know what, let's do a wheel company. Then that wheel company idea turned into a board company. And oh, wow. I, now Organic is 13 years in the, in the running, you know what I'm saying? So wow. And it's I an apparel things. line too. Yes, okay. it's an apparel line. So I recently left RG for to fly my own flag. Yeah. Ellie, hey, do you want to introduce this guy over there? Yeah, I would love to. This is my new friend. <laughs> Woogie. What did they call you, Black Ass Woogie or yeah, something? Black, Black Ass, ass Woogie. Woogie. Why do they call you that? I don't know, I just made up that name. We're in Arizona on two trips. <laughs> <laughs> so you ride for DGK? Yes. Is that how, how many, you, you took him on trips so far? Only mm -hmm. one? Mm -hmm. Arizona one? So he's brand new to DGK? Mm -hmm. Damn, where are you from? San Diego. So this is all happening pretty fast for you then, huh? Yeah. Well, you just got sponsors, you already went on your first trip. Uh, did you finish school? Yup, last year. Where, where'd you graduate from? That's fucking good job. <laughs> Charter school? Charter school? Where's yeah. that at? Uh, it's like an independent study. Yeah. Downtown. You want to give shout outs to your teacher or anything? So <laughs> <laughs> shout out to my teacher. Nigga, we made it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, you, didn't, you didn't graduate school, did you? No. What day, when uh, you dropped out, what, ninth grade? I like the last one. <laughs> no, you dropped in like ninth. Four. Right, like I remember having to take this kid. 11. I would, he would go like, let's go film. And I'd be like, I'm not going, I'm not picking you up unless you go to your fucking, because he, like, he had to do like extra studies afterwards. Uh -huh. If he didn't hit his night class, I wasn't going to pick him up. 
Really? And he would lie and say he went. Like, pick me up, I'm at school. But I really know he just went and did some other shit during the day and then I'd pick him up in front of the school to go film. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, because the, the, the school, the teachers they didn't give a fuck. Yeah. They didn't, like, in, you're in the hood where when, when I was raised, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Teachers, they didn't care if you did homework or anything. They'll just be like, yo, you can turn in some shit that says fuck you and they'll be like, you pass. Like, you know, like, yeah, straight up. they're just trying to pass They're just trying the to pass you through. Trying to get like, rid of you. Right. That's how it was where I was at. Like they weren't caring nothing, so I didn't give a fuck. So it was, that's how it was. <laughs> Definitely, that's how it was. Yeah, sucks. And that does it. suck. So you were looking out for him. Like I tried. I did. Well, but I it was tried. better off that he was skating. Obviously. Fuck you! I want him to learn. <laughs> Learn tricks. <laughs> I wanted to learn knowledge to fucking. I knew he was gonna be all this big DGK baller one day. What's he gonna do with this money if he can't count? <laughs> yeah, right. I was we're catching Whoa. flights. He didn't give a fuck. Yeah, really, yeah. Dog. I made sure he was on all his flights for there. Yeah, sure. right. He'd be late as fuck. Was this in uh, circa days? When was yeah. this? Yeah. But Wasn't it Lenny that was part of like the whole zero DGK controversy too, or something like that? Was that were you, was Jamie trying to get you to ride for one? Oh yeah, yeah. You tried to give me the right for was it? I think it was mystery. Mystery, mystery at the beginning. Yeah. Were you already yeah. on DGK? Yeah. He, he was like, "Yo, come in the office, boy. Let me talk to you real quick." <laughs> <laughs> wow. And I sat down and he gave me, you know, try to get me on, and I was thought about it, and, or like, you know, it was yeah, like, yeah. had options, and I just stayed where I was at because uh-huh. I was that was with the fan band. <laughs> Feeling that necklace, man. Oh yeah, man, you know, Spencer Fujimoto. Yeah. Shout out to the OG. Hey, El speaking, Senor. Of, speaking El Senor. of Spencer Fujimoto, Spencer Fujimoto one thing right that there. people hit us up that we forgot to ask Stevie about was the Darren Harper stuff. You were oh, out there for that, yeah. right? Yeah. I was. I can't believe you guys forgot that. Damn. I know, I know. He, he, he got it. I didn't, I didn't, Stevie's I such a that. boss, man. He dealt with that so well. He's, he's good at his fucking. That was a really good episode. That, See, he's professional. He interviews me. I fucking suck at this shit. You're doing good. No, you're actually doing really good. No, 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 but I, it's, you know, like when it's like I'm feeling it, it's cool. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> so yeah. the Aaron Harper <laughs> thing, <laughs> did that? Well, because he was there. It was at LES Park, right? It was, was at LES Park. Oh, and I seen this shit. Yeah. Oh, it was crucial. That fool, he, Darren Harper, I seen him walking and he was going straight, straight to <laughs> where he that where he was going to Stevie. And he looked at us too and he just mad dogged us. I'm like, oh shit. Wait, what, what was what it all? What led up to it? Yeah. Why was, I, I don't understand. It was, uh, why, what was it all? You guys not put him on or something? Or, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. It was like personal stuff between those two guys. Yeah, oh, between Stevie that. and him? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't even remember. Because if you watch the footage back, you can see you in the background, but then at the same time, that's Spencer Fujimoto. Spencer Fujimoto hit no. him with a board hard as... Hit fuck. Darren? Yeah. Watch it back. This little Asian dude comes out. No, I come out too. No lie. Hey, and I'm going to keep, keep it 100. I, 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 like, I did it like a kick, right? And it was like, not even nothing major, but guess who's seen it? Darren Harper, right? Yeah. He's on my ass like, yo, watch when I see you, dog. And then next thing you know, DGK's doing a fucking event in DC. Um, I gotta show up, right? Yeah, so you're scared. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, right? Because Darren Harper already telling me, fucking yo, I'm on your ass. I already seen the video a hundred times, mm-hmm. right? I'm a fu- all right, watch when I see you. I didn't teach you no kick, dude. But I, I didn't. Shit. It's just, a, hey, if somebody, if somebody would have swung at you, and you know, I would have swung. Oh, my car, man. Did, we talk know? about this. We do this shit. Any of the homies right here would have got swung at, you know, I'm jumping in. Yeah. So I told him straight up. like, yeah, it's like, it's an it's, it's, it, 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 it was like an instant, and then, boom. Check this out, though. I go to D.C., and I'm at his skate shop, right? And I'm shook. Like, we had a van, and he shows up, and he's like, he calls me out. Like, lady, come here. I'm like, oh. And his, his brother and everybody were outside ready to fuck mm-hmm. me up. Yeah. They are ready to, like, on some hood shit, right? And then they're calling him, like, oh, is our, like, we're going to fuck him up. And then he, he basically calls back and, like, tells him to give me a pass. You know, like, don't fuck with, like, like let, just let him slide, you know? Yeah. And I got a pass. I ain't gonna, hey, and I salute. I give a I, shout I out. I love him for that. I get, I give a shout out to Darren Harper for that, man, because I went to your hood and you knew damn well you would have. It didn't have to be him. He could have sent mm. his whole goons to fucking just stomp me out real quick. Yeah. And he didn't do it. And I love him. And I, I, I love Darren Harper. You kept it fucking one thousand, and yep. I love it. 
Do you get hit up from people who are like around your hood for DGK stuff all the time now? Because it's like oh, such a yeah. big urban brand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I got to stay love. away. I got to stay away from the hood sometimes because yeah. I'm like, I got the, I got the good people and the bad people. You know, like mm. they know that you're a face of it though. Like oh, face of, of the course. Brand, or yeah, brand. they they see me. So when I go back to the hood, it's like, yo, what's up? Like, yo, we need some gear, you know? And it's yeah. like, I gotta go through the gang bangers and. Uh, even the dude that works at the liquor store, you know, he's seen me grow up. Yeah. I went to the liquor store the whole my whole life, yeah. you know, like so he he's like, oh, you better come and fucking hook me up because I hooked your ass up the whole, you yeah. know, like toasty so locos like, and stuff. You toasty gotta... locos, all that shit. Boy. <laughs> What's Michiladas. that? Tell them the toasty locos. <clears throat> toasty locos are fucking chips that have guaritos. Well, they take they, have a, they all take a bag of, of chips first. They take like a like. Uh, Doritos or fucking, they usually do Fritos, huh? Tostitos. Yeah, Tostitos, Tostitos yeah. Tostitos. And they, she takes like the bag sealed and she'll slice it down the middle and then slice it like that so it folds open like it's almost like a bowl. Uh-huh. And then she puts in what? Fucking uh, corn nuts, uh, chaka chaka, uh, lemons, hot sauce. What else, man? You fucking. Uh, uh, need it. Uh, cucumbers, <laughs> fruits. Cucumbers. They, they, yeah, they wow. put fruits yeah. in that shit. They put like fruits. watermelon chunks uh, and shit. Yeah. Oh, that shit is fine. And then he comes yeah, out, he's, like, he's like <laughs> eating. Like, he'll be like, oh, I'll, I'll be at his house, like, oh, look, like, oh, because his house is like, just, you know, he's right there. He'll be like, oh, no, and he'd run next door. I need to get a bag. In Mexico, they sell them all day over there and go to the Cahuila. Yeah. Yeah, that's like your strip. accent, though. That's the, that's <laughs> the, that's the Eli, that's hella perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I taught him that accent. I told him how to roll the yard. I heard Lenny's kind of like humanitarian, though, like, like Lenny goes down to like Mexico and drops off product and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Like that? Yeah, oh, boy. I get a box. box. I, I try to tell, you know, I try to get boxes out and go over there and skate and give it to all the underdogs, you know, the people that don't have nothing. That's really and cool, that, man. That come from, from nothing, you know? And that makes, that's how I came. Like, you know, I, uh-huh. when I was small, a sticker meant the world to me. Like, that was like, yeah. that was the best shit ever, a fucking sticker. You know, I'll buy a sticker for three dollars, and that would make my day. Uh-huh. So that's how I was always raised. You know, like just appreciating shit that was small. <laughs> and at one point, you were supporting your family off off of your skateboarding. Yeah. Not your own family. Yeah, my mom. Your yeah, for ever since I got a first check for uh-huh. skateboarding, you know, it was it was <clears throat> two hundred and fifty bucks when I was on DGK. That was my first check. Uh huh. I would always support my mom, pay her uh-huh. rent, and. Uh, Groceries, everything. And yeah, That's it's crazy. Crazy, man. So it's just there's crazy. a lot of people that say skateboarding saved their life and stuff like that. Are you one of those people? Oh that yeah, just, for sure. And I'm still like that. Woogie's one of those I'm still like that. When I go back to the neighborhood sure. and I look at everything, I'm Definitely. like, for sure, skateboarding saved my life. Well, if you all three of you agreed to that, what, what would have happened if you didn't skate? Do you think you would probably got caught up with the wrong crowd? You know, the wrong influences. Yeah. And skateboarding just, you know, showed us a different way of life. You know, opened up the world to me. I mean, I, I'm sure it's the same with you so guys. Yeah, for sure. Because you know, when you grow up in the hood, you only know the hood. Yeah. yeah. You know, and a lot of people people don't know that about, about me, but I am from the hood. Mm-hmm. So when I started skating, I went to EMB, and it showed me, like, the world at large. And I met all these people from around the world. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's what made me, made me become the person I am today. I heard you got EMB stories for days. Oh. You were there and just us. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, yeah, she's good looking. He'd be like, check this shit out. And just start making out with her in front of her. Like, what the fuck you doing, Dad? It's where the huge C-block used to be. That was like the epicenter of EMB. 